Hi, this is Tor, Program Manager for Vistock Server. I'm going to quickly show you guys how to connect one of your HTTP SOAP endpoints and expose it through API management without doing too much magic. If you are running your Vistock machine in Azure as IaaS, Infrastructure as a Service, you can easily connect your already VNet connected to an API management installation. So, if you have API management running, Make sure that they are communicating over the same VNet. If not, you have to connect them together. I'm not sure we have some links on how to do that in this post. Uh, other than that, I'm going to quickly show you what I've done. So I have this receive location. It's basically an HTTP SOAP endpoint. It's listening for orders coming in from my system. It will then, once it gets these orders, send them out to my SQL database and make a copy of it on my temporary folder. What I'm going to have to do is I have to go into IIS and I have to get the whistle of this actual file. So since I can't use lo localhost on my API management connected to my BizTalk, I can use the actual URL. Like I said, my BizTalk machine and my API management is both connected on the same VNet. If you don't have the VNet set up or you're connecting through an on-premise service or server to your API management, you have to configure and set up a VNet and a connectivity between those two. So in this case, I have my API portal. I can click this called the import API. I then select that I'm going to call my WSDL and it's from a URL. So what I've done is I pasted in my IIS and my VNet and my IP to this machine. I can then select SOAP pass through or SOAP to REST to expose my SOAP endpoint through API management as a REST endpoint. In this case, I'm going to do a SOAP pass through. I can then give it the API or URL suffix, so in this case, I'll call it add orders. As you can see, this is the URL my partners are going to connect to to send me this data. I can then select what products this is a part of. When I save it, I can select if I'm going to use SOAP or SOAP 1.2, and in this case, I'll use the SOAP 1.12. What it's going to do is automatically correct, create all of these. I can go into settings, operation, or security and add more of these. I can also go into policies and add policies to these endpoints. All this is done through the API management portal. I'm going to quickly jump into my developer portal. I'm going to update and see all my APIs. As I can see, I got a new one, the receive order API. When I click these, I can hit the try it just to make sure that everything's running as it should. I go down and all the way at the bottom, I can have this send button. It will automatically send this data through and I will get a response and the actual response from my endpoint. So as I can see, this went through my store procedure in the SQL and gave me this response. So that's how easy you set this up. This is how easy you connect BizDoc, SOAP endpoints through API management. Just making sure you have the VNet configured and that the machine can automatically detect the other servers in your VNet.